continue with more coverage from IWA 2024. We are at one of my new kind of brands. For me, I've been making some content on Pentagon gear for the last 12 months or so, and it's one that's always really impressed me with that sweet spot uh, between the, the, the quality of their products and the value for money for them. So it's always one that I make sure that I take a little beeline to come and see. Now there's quite a few products that are going to be coming online this year. Some of them will be towards the end of the year and kind of on into 2025. Uh, but I'll leave some links below as well as usual to make sure that you can you can see more from these. Now, it's no secret that 2023, one of my favorite tactical pants was the wolf pants. Absolutely love these. In fact, you'll see me wearing these in all of the other content that I make with different things in the background. I tend to be wearing these a lot because they're just incredibly comfortable. Uh, they have confirmed there's gonna be an update to these, hopefully coming into development uh, this year to be released later next year. Um, very excited to see the Wolf Pant version 2. But to build on that, there is a new combat style shirt for, uh, for the Wolf Pants, which will work in uh, combination between the two. Uh, with similar, similar materials through, through the ripstop here, through the arms to make sure if you're brushing against things, as we tend to do in the silly things that we do, um, it will give you as much protection, but also increase the longevity of the, of the, the actual shirt itself all of the options that you would expect plus some so on the on the sleeves you have uh, bicep pockets they have put some research into uh, the, the correct angle on these bicep pockets I think they said it's about 38 degrees to make sure you want to drop something in it's as easy to be able to get those from your bicep as possible but there's a couple of other options on here as well and some extra bits of kit that will be coming into development soon so for example the bicep pocket has the traditional uh, access from the top in from the side but underneath here there's some additional hook and loop which is going to be part of a second piece of kit so think of those kind of small ifac modules that you'll have on a belt or have on a pack that you rip and pull and it will come out with that so they're developing bits to go into this that will fold over with a tab pull down you've got it you can do whatever it is that you need to do with that and then you can kind of move on materials is a very nice blend of materials on here so as I mentioned you've got that rip stop on the outside to keep it as tough as possible adjustable uh, sleeve cuffs and then on the inside you have this really nice stretch material that's designed one to keep you as mobile as possible and re and not limit your freedom of movement uh, but also help with things like sweat management which let's face it is important and also to add to comfort with that they've gone for a crew neck on this so rather than a half zip or a quarter zip on the front the crew neck is made from the same material so that you've got as much comfort around your neck one again to help with heat management but also to help with that pesky sling on your neck and it and it rubbing after a day of excessive sweating now there's a couple of additional uh, cold weather parka style items that are coming out I'll check the name, I think this was the HCP. Uh, so this is made with the Primaloft material inside here to make sure that it'll keep you nice and warm. It is uh, waterproof or water resistant and this is rated for down to minus 30 degrees, which should be great. Um, detachable hood, but the hood is also large enough to make sure that if you're running comms underneath here, then you'll be able to run your comms through this. Uh, and then you've got a couple of options as far as a, a, a closing that at the front but if you are running comms rather than just a single fixed closure they've they've put a, a lateral piece of hook and loop on there so that you can expand that to make sure that you your mic isn't covered this looks really nice and i, I can imagine certainly rated down to uh, minus minus 30 that it's going to keep you nice and warm now as i mentioned as well so as far as your hydrostatic heads are concerned for water resistant this is up to a 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head which I mean, let's face it, there's tents out there that are only, say, five or 6,000 millimetres hydrostatic head, so it is going to keep you nice and dry. There is a shorter version rather than being a Parker. Uh, there, is, there is a shortened version as well, using very similar technology as far as the hydrostatic head is concerned, uh, but fits just a little bit shorter on this. I think this one was called the LCP. Uh, stowaway hood at the top. 
uh, with, with a nice collar on this and they've also added so that fleece on there to make sure that it's nice nice and cool. Then on the inside, actually on the inside of this one, I think there was, yeah, there is, there's a snow skirt on the inside of that one. With this one, because it is just a little bit shorter, there isn't a snow skirt on this, but you know, generally with a jacket this size, it doesn't particularly need to be there. Uh, but also very high, hydrostatic head values as well to make sure that one, you're nice and warm. This one goes down to minus, or is rated for around minus 20 degrees. That was 30, uh, minus 30. This one's minus 20. Um, and also nice and dry whilst you're out as well. Uh, now, looking kind of less military, although I didn't mention those previous ones, so although they were in the, uh, the, the multicam on there, there will be more civilian looking options, so you don't necessarily have to walk around looking like G.I. Joe, um, they'll have the normal kind of flat colours instead, uh, but for more of a civilian look, uh, there, is, there is an additional parker here. Similar values for uh, for the um, for the water resistance. This one's rated down to about zero degrees, so not as much as the others, but still going to keep you relatively warm. Now that's only if you're you've got I don't know minimal layers underneath. If you're using this as a three-layer system when it's on the outside, then those values will they'll you know they'll they'll lift up just or at least I suppose they'll be able to drop down a little bit more. Um, but really nice options with this one and also as well, so because uh, you may possibly need this for CCW if you have something on your hip, uh, there are options to be able to get through to a pistol on the side a little bit quicker. Being a huge bag nerd, I'm always attracted to bags, let's just face it, I'm a bag nerd and I love them. Um, Pentagon are releasing a new series of these more kind of EDC focused bags. This one looks more like a messenger style sling. Um, I like a lot of the new materials that they're using on these and a lot of the, lot of the new closures on here. If you need to ditch this quickly, you have quick release options on, oh, on both sides. There we go. So there's one on that one on that side as well, just as I mentioned, if you do need to be able to release this and get out of a certain situation. Um, if you want to do it a little bit slower, slower sorry, there are also fidlocks on these, magnetic fidlocks. Everybody likes magnets, science. Uh, but the options for this, now, as I mentioned, there are a few of these. This is the larger of them. Um, more of that kind of messenger style to it. Oh. So on the inside, quick access to your stuff in the front. Uh, you can fit a small laptop or an iPad into here. There are also options for you CCW fans out there as well, just in case you need to CCW something. Uh, and that is on the back, there's a, there's a back panel on there, which you can also put in your um, mobile phone, that sort of stuff, if, if you need to have access to that quickly. But this, so this is the larger one of them. There are other smaller versions which look more like kind of this, well, this sort of size, but you'll see, you'll see them here. Um, depending again on um, one, the amount of minimalist kind of items or essential items that you want to carry with you and also if you're purchasing these specifically for that CCW side whether you're carrying a full frame, whether you're carrying a subcompact all of those sort of important things that you need to decide uh, there will be hopefully be an option that will fit for you. Now, as we've seen, staying warm with Pentagon seems to be a bit of a theme this year. Um, and one of the other things that they'll be releasing is one of these uh, one of these Sherpa fleeces. There's actually two versions of this that we were looking at previously. So there is a gilet version without the sleeves, uh, or there is a full jacket style version that we have here. Both have a quick access chest pocket, which is great. It's also, it's the same fleece that's on the inside as well. So if you want to keep something warm in there, then you'll be able to do that. Nice high collar with beard protection, because if you've got facial pubes, it's important to keep them protected. Um, but they're also using a high grammage fleece on this, which is great. And it's also through to the inside as well. It's actually a double on here. So what you'll see on the outside is you have that high gram fleece uh, there, that kind of the teddy bear material. And then on the inside, you have more of like a micro fleece, which is great when you, I mean, it, it piles up. It has a habit of doing that. We all know that it happens when you get one, uh, but having that on the inside will help to reduce that, which is a great small detail that they've added, but uh, the, one of the big differences is, and a lot of people don't appreciate that, is having two layers will also help to trap air between the two. 
having that air in there will help to warm it and it will help to keep you insulated and warm in the winter. So these are the Sherpas, you have the full jacket and there is also the gilet. Now for the security minded and the people that are wanting to stay protected whilst out and about, um, Penn's going to be releasing newer lines of, uh, of, of backpacks, whether they're EDC backpacks, whether they're travelling style backpacks. A lot of the materials that you'd expect for a hard wearing backpack with your Cordura leather on here, YKK zips, even ballistic nylon here on the side to make sure that if there's anything poking out, it just gets that extra protection. One of the nice features about this is, so there's, there's a couple actually, being a backpack geek, let's face it, you just have to excuse the, the, uh, the bubble wrap on the inside. So you've got your normal style administration panel so that you can put all of your EDC stuff. You then have, let's pretend I've closed that for now. You then have your uh, regular stuff so that you can put your items in here. There is what looks like a laptop sleeve behind here. However, I can confirm with this one that it does have its own dedicated electronics panel. So whether you want to put your laptop in here, whether you want to put a tablet in here, they will all be able to fit in. Really nice detail on this, which I think more companies should be doing. This is an electronics panel and electronics don't like water, so they've added, um, they've added AquaGuard zips to this. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this, those security um, protection minded people. So these are designed and later um, other backpacks in the series um, will be designed in such a way like this one so that you can put a plate into this. On the back here, there is a luggage pass-through, so when it's put onto uh, your luggage, if you're travelling to an airport, uh, you can put your luggage pass-through he through here. But bizarrely, there's another one here which doesn't seem to make sense until you remember that you can put a plate into this. So if you do need to use it as a shield whilst you're doing something to protect yourself or doing to pr something to protect others around you, you do have the option with this. Continuing my love of being a backpack geek, uh, there are some extensions to the new lines of backpacks coming from Pentagon. Uh, two backpacks specifically designed more for everyday style use, but again designed within around that Pentagon ethos of keeping things as tough and as durable as possible. These are both also blue sign, um, blue sign, not registered, but con compliant, uh, which, is, which is a standard out there as far as recycled materials are used. So thinking a little bit more about the environment and the recycling of materials so that they just don't end up in landfill. Both really nice. So uh, kind of standard features that you, that you would expect, but some really nice key things. And that is one of them. So both of these have uh, bottle pockets on the side. The previous backpack that we looked at was very similar, but it's a fact that when there's nothing in these, they're designed to stay as flush to the pack as possible, which is a great feature. There's a lot of companies that don't do that, and I think it's nice that they've added this. Uh, what you also get with these, so for the smaller one here, uh, you get a one inch waistband. Really, it, it's just to keep that pack um, stabilized on your back. Whereas when you go for the larger version, there is a dedicated uh, hip belt for that just to help to lift up some of the weight from your back. One of the really nice features that you get with both of these, so there is one underneath here. There's also one here. You can pull out, although I did it upside down, uh, but you can pull out a rain cover that does come with this great one for keeping you out of the rain but also if you're in a situation where you need to be seen maybe somebody's trying to find you or you're lost you can use this to help to signal your location as well which i think is a really nice feature they could have just gone with green but i, I really do like the fact that it's it's nice and high uh, high vis and last but not least pentagon have put a lot of thought into clothing design to be worn where it's very hot the company from greece so it would make perfect sense that they they turn their focus towards items that are designed specifically like the shirt that we have here and the trousers to help you to regulate that heat. The material on this uses really nice stretch so that you can move around a little bit easier. It doesn't restrict you in any way. 
It's also designed in such a way that this will also dry as quickly as possible. I think they said that you could wash this and it will dry out within three hours, which is pretty decent. Same material through the shirt and through, through the pants. If for some reason you needed to take it off quickly, you've got quick release buttons underneath. You never know when you're going to be too hot and you're going to really want to strip off um, with some haste. Uh, but yes, yeah, really nice features on here as well also is the fact that rather than rolling your sleeves up and they're falling down, they've got little anchor points on there. Really nice. And on the pants, you get similar options as far as your carrier is concerned. So you have your normal kind of double pocket set up on each side and you have your little tactical pocket here, whether that's magazines, whether that's a knife, whether that's your mobile phone, if your mobile phone will fit in there, designed to keep you not as warm when you're in the warm. Last little bit that I forgot actually. Uh, Sun Factor 50 on this, designed specifically in such a way that the fibres are close enough together that it will prevent the sun from coming through to your skin and burning you whilst you wear it. If you're used to wearing white t-shirts in the sun and you've got ginger blue skin like I have, you know you can still burn through your clothes. So as far as IWA is concerned and Pentagon, uh, this is it for now, but I will leave all of those links below, as I say, because some of these items will be coming out this year. Some will be towards the end of the year, starting also into 2025, 2025, yeah, that's it. Um, so I'll leave some links below so that you can see more from these. A huge thank you to everybody here on the Pentagon stand for making me feel so welcome today. Uh, but yes, stay tuned for more from IWA 2024 on Moreland at EDC.